Hi everyone, uh, I'm Kevin with Larian Studios and we're here for another modeling video. And today we're going to show you how to export models from Maya using our exporter and bring them into the tool set. So this will allow you to make your own models, make your own animations, and then place your own items or characters into the world and into your own mods. And for that, we're going to show you how to do it. So how to install our plugin into Maya and how to export a model and import it into the tool set. So the beginning for this is the wiki page because we give you a small explanation on how to install our tool set and our exporter and where to find our tool set and exporter. So if you go to the main page and then DaVinci Engine, then Larian Guides as usual, in the setup you'll find Maya Exporter. So if you follow the first video and installed the editor using the editor setup, then in the Maya Exporter explanation you'll see that we will refer to the same folder the same installation place and there you can find under the Vint Original Sin 2 data editor tools Maya you'll find the scripts and the MLL that you'll need to place in the correct folder and the wiki page explains you where so the MLL file called Larian Maya 2015 you'll place into the plugin folder of your Maya installation so that would be under Accordingly, normally it would be Autodesk, Maya 2015, bin plugins, and there you'll place the maya.mll file. Then there's also, if you follow the wiki, a script folder and a user setup. And these two you'll place in your documents, Maya scripts. Now you can create the folder yourself, but as soon as you start it up Maya once at least, the folder will exist and you can just paste everything in there. If you're used to working with Maya and you already have a user setup uh, Python script, we have a small bit of code to show you which part you'll have to add into your personal user setup script. And then after that, just start up Maya, load a model and we'll start using the setup. But if you don't have a model, you can always use one of ours to learn how that works. And therefore, you can go again to Larian Guides and now to my first. Here you have your first item or your first character. Now for characters, we gave a small list at the bottom after an entire explanation on how to make characters of uh, some example animals and some example characters that we have used in game. And for this example, I'm going to use the squirrel because I like squirrels. So you'll just click on the scroll example, download the file, open it in Maya, and then you'll see something like this. So here we have a scroll and we have a weird box around it. Now the weird box is the physics, which you'll also need to export if you want correct physics. Uh, but we can hide that for now just so you can see the scroll properly. So let's just select this one. There we go. So this is our scroll and we're going to export this one into the engine. So for that, we just set up the scripts and we're going to do one more little setup and that is once the script is running you'll see that there is a Larian mod tools tab in your Maya and there under mod P you can change the data path so if you open this one you will just have to select the data folder so program files, steam apps, common, original sin 2 data or for GOG just the location where you installed your game and again the data folder the same way that you selected your data folder for the editor. I'm just going to set this one so that the exporter will automatically place it in the correct folder in your actual mod. So as soon as this is set up, you'll just apply the path change and you'll make your model or open an existing one like here. And then you'll use MLE. So MLE is the exporter where you can see the different layers. You can select the layers and then do a express export, which is the default setting, or do a full export, but it's not really necessary. Uh, the history here shows which folders you already exported to. If you open this the first time, it will create a history file for you. You get a small message about that. It's nothing to worry about. It will just, after that, record every location that you saved it to. And then you can also select the different projects in your data folder. So you can automatically export to the data folder of a mod that you want to export to. Now before exporting there are a few things that you could want to know for 
safety measures or also for if you want to export some advanced things. Uh, if you want to export physics, like the box here, be sure that before exporting, you select the box and you add physics properties. Now this is just kinematic or static depending on if it needs to move or if it just needs to be a static mesh that doesn't move, that doesn't animate. Uh, you don't have to set bullet physics via Maya itself, it's not necessary. Just add the physics properties via the special button that we provide. And then it will export the physics properly. The naming conventions you'll always have to follow. That's why we give you the example files. So for physics, you'll have to name it something with underscore phys. But as I said, we have ample of example files that you can use for that. After that, just make sure one more thing. Let's make sure to have your everything saved. So as you can see up here, there's a little star next to the name. It always happens when you open a file. It's natural behavior. Be sure to save it. So all outstanding changes are all right and are saved. And so the exporter can properly export everything because if something is not saved, it will skip some files because it doesn't want to accidentally export something that isn't correct. So as soon as everything is saved and you've set the physics even, you can select your layers. Physics doesn't have to be in a special layer. It just has to be there. You can select what you want to export. For now, we'll save visual and physics. If we want to export animation, we can do that as well. But this file doesn't have any animation. And to make an animation file, we'll provide a extra wiki page that explains the different settings for that one. Because it's slightly different than making layers for, for example, physics or the actual base model. Anyway, so we have visual, we have physics, we have our correct mod selected, which is the same as in the previous video. So Kevin's awesome mod. We selected both layers that we want to export and we just press export. You'll see that everything gets hidden, that just a visual confirmation that as soon as you export it, it just hides the layer. You can just visualize it again if you want, if you want to work on it again. So now that we have this done, we have our folder that we selected and it contains the granny file of the layers that we exported and the bullet file of the physics. Now I exported two layers here. The main thing that we need is the scroll A. Uh, any other example that we give with creatures also have the A and the base file. The base file just contains, I can show you in Maya, if we hide everything, you'll see that the scroll A contains, in this case, the physics and the actual scroll model. Uh, the rig is something that gets automatically excluded. This is for animations. You don't need to export that in any case. And the base file contains the bones. Uh, this is used if we want to use the base model, so the base bones, for anything else than the scroll model. So we have the bones separate from the actual mesh. Now in this case, of course, we want everything together because we're actually using the scroll. And then we're going to our resource browser in the editor. And we're going to make that scroll model in game. So we're going to our package here. Now in this case, I already made one just for testing, but we can make a second one. So just make sure that you have a package, which you can create over here. And then you add a resource. So in this case, it would be a model resource. And the model would be animal scroll A, because this is the actual model. We open this one and we call it something. So now for this, we'll call it animals scroll awesome, because this is the one we're going to use. And we just press OK. So here's our model. This is exactly how we modeled it, but it's still a bit, well, bland. So for that, we can add textures, we can add animations. Because this is a file that has correct bones attached to it, it's correctly skinned, as explained on the wiki, uh, we can actually assign correct animations to it. And we're just going to use the existing ones that we have in the editor, because we have the scroll in there as well, to show you how that works. So if you double click on the resource, you'll get its settings. And now you see that the animal scroll A mesh the mesh shape as the default material, which is the, the one with the gray and the lines. 
So what you can do is you can go to the resource browser. Like that. You can go to the materials and you can look for the material you want or you can make the material yourself. In this case, I'm going to use the existing scroll material. As you can see, if I open the editor for it, it's uh, a rather complicated material in this case that contains the textures that make up the scroll and the way that they blend together. But that's more for an advanced tutorial. Now we're just going to use the existing one here and we're going to assign it to our visual. Just the way that we assign everything in game. So this sets our material already, which will set the texture correctly and make the scroll actually look like a scroll. And we're also going to set the animation, so it also behaves like a scroll. And for that, we're also going to use the existing scroll animation, which you can see is under animation set resource, because we have several animation resources con consisting of dying, dodging, idle, lying back, everything for the scroll. And then we make one animation set resource with this. And this one contains all those animations. And this is the one we're going to assign to the model to give the model knowledge of everything it can do. So in this case, we just assign it again. Be sure to place it up because it's the first one that needs to be used. And that's it. We just apply. And we have our awesome scroll with textures and as you can see very soon also animations so now we want to place in the level uh, for that we need to make a root template because root templates are things that we place in the level resources are just resources we use to make the items with so we're going to make a new root template and we're going to make a scroll root template so it's a character that's fine. The only thing I need is a name, which will be scroll awesome. And I create this. Now, if you filter only on root templates in your current project, you can see which ones you made. I already made one for testing and I have the one that we just made now. Now, this is a root template for a character that has nothing assigned to it because I didn't assign anything during creation. The only thing I need for the scroll to work is the visual resource, which is the one that we just made in Maya, then exported, imported here and assigned. So now we just go to the resource browser again or the resource manager. We click our awesome scroll and we assign the visual resource to our root template. Now, if we select this again, we'll see that the visual as in the resource manager is now assigned to this root template and we can place this in the level as many times as we want. So you just go to your place new object interaction mode, select your scroll and there it is. Then find a good location, probably somewhere high ground where you can see a lot, like over here. We'll turn it around like that and there it is this little scroll in slightly ominous lighting right now with animation dodging animation idle animation everything assigned to it isn't it cute I love this thing so just to reiterate you install the Maya plugin the way that we explain it on the wiki Larian guides set up Maya exporter be sure, of course, to have your tool set set up properly first, according to our first video. Then for Maya, if you set it up and you get the Larian Mod Tools tab, be sure to change your data path so it's set correctly to the tool set data. Well, it's actually the game folder, but it's the same data that the tool set uses. Be sure to save your file. So every change that you made is solidified. If you want to export physics, be sure to select the way you want to export them, either kinematic or static. 
and then just select all the layers that you want to export and export them to the folder you select. If you've done that, go to the editor. In the resource browser, make the resource according to your model. In this case, make a scroll resource. Assign every property that you need to assign to it, which would be a material, an animation, maybe cloth, depending on how exquisite your cape can be, if you want to do that. Then make a root template that uses this resource so you can place it in the level and then just place as many scrolls as you want. And I'm gonna fill this entire level with scrolls. I'm gonna place one over here, two over there. My ominous bridge has gotten a lot cuter now. Now, if you have any more questions when it comes to all the in-between steps, so how resources exactly work, how root templates exactly work, be sure to follow our videos and be sure to look at our other explanations because we'll split it up into several smaller explanations for you. We'll also provide, or we also provide a video that explains everything on root templates, how to create your own there. And use that if you want to know more about specific steps. But for a general creation, you can always quickly just assign the correct materials wherever you need them, assign the correct visual resources or material resources to the final root templates, and then place those root templates. Now, I hope you have enjoyed and learned a little bit about importing and exporting. I hope you have some interesting ideas about what you're going to model in Maya. And I am very excited, and we as Larian in group are very excited to see what you'll be putting into our engine. So that's it for now. Thanks for listening. Be sure to check out our other videos, especially the first video that explains everything on how to set the entire editor up. And well, that's about it. See you guys.